So this MIT professor was just stabbed to death in his home and everybody's speculating, well, because he was working on nuclear fission technology and secrets and he was cracking the code of plasma physics and all of this and this revolutionary new source of energy was going to be tapped into. That's part of it. That's a little bit of a part of it. But there is something much deeper and much more mysterious and ancient going on that is being controlled here. And I'm going to try to explain this without going through too much crazy history and too much science to muddy the waters. What I'm going to try to do is basically explain what's going on in a way that you can go figure out for yourself that hopefully your soul will hear like a voice coming through the hypnosis kind of like a little light to sort of wake you up. If you want to understand what's going on, we're talking about something more like the movie with Brad Pitt, like 12 Monkeys, or the movie um, Tenet, you know, where timelines are going forward and going back in different anomalous ways that we don't quite understand. So if you go back into the most ancient esoteric secrets if you go back into the mystery schools of Egypt underlying all of it is this basic understanding that we as a human individual soul we are here moving through linear time okay we are on this perspective and under this understanding of life that we are moving into the future like the future is it feels like it's out ahead of us somewhere and as we go into the future, we enter the present moment in the here and now. And then that moment, the present moment, then immediately goes into the past. It's like off the back of a boat or behind a fish. Okay, so imagine a boat moving through the water, the stream of time, or like humanity, we are all like a school of fish swimming in the current or the river of time. And so the future is flowing through us we are experiencing the present moment, and then the decisions that we make produce this wake of the past that goes out and turns out behind us and as what happened or whatever. But if you go into the ancient past and you look at what they actually mastered and what they uncovered was that there is this cosmic web. There's this underlying fabric. So we perceive reality as though the speed of light is the fastest thing that we know. Nothing can go faster than the speed of light, <laughs> okay? Now, you don't have to believe me. I'm just some normal guy, but hear me out here. If you go into the ancient esoteric secrets, what they understood was that beyond the speed of light, if anything moves faster than the speed of light, like say a UFO, um, a UFO, if it can move faster than the speed of light, then that is essentially a time travel craft. As soon as you can go faster and penetrate beyond the speed of light, then suddenly the speed of light stands still and everything that we consider physical matter, you can move through like it's a smoke or a fog or just like an ocean of water and you can go right through it. That's why you have these sightings of UFOs that people see go right through solid objects and right through the ground. Uh, right into the mountain and in and out of the solid ground and people are like, how come they're not crashing or whatever? Okay, well, the ancient esoteric secrets, they explained all of this as a cosmic web or like a net. Okay, so think of quantum entanglement. If you're, if you move one particle over here, instantaneously, not at the speed of light, but instantaneously, faster than the speed of light, Quantum entanglement says that you move this particle here and the other one infinite distances away also rotates and is instantaneously quantum entangled with the other one. That's what this MIT professor was tapping into and figuring out. And in the ancient secrets, they figured out and uncovered that there is this cosmic web or a matrix that transcends the speed of light that is faster outside of this perspective of linear time. In fact, they have all kinds of hieroglyphs in the mystery schools in ancient Egypt and all over the world that say that these higher interdimensional beings, that they control this matrix or they control this web, 
this quantum entangled web. That's basically mastery over the timelines, mastery over the perspective of linear time, okay? And they would even depict it like an actual web and they would depict it like a fisherman's net. Like, behold, I will make you fishers of men, <laughs> right? Like it says in the Bible. And the idea was that the souls of humanity, even the souls of the dead, um, that they become lost in this confusion, thinking that you are moving through life and reality and the afterlife on this linear timeline. And these higher dimensional beings that understand the underlying substrate and fabric of reality, they know the deeper mystery and they can cast their net upon the souls of men and they can shape the course of the way that the school of fish are swimming in this direction or that direction. They can go through and edit the events of the past. They can see which way everything is going and guide it towards this direction into the future or turn left or turn right, go this, go up or go down. And they can kind of control and cast that web or that net over the matrix and control linear time. It doesn't matter even if you get into the secret mysteries of Operation Paperclip or Project Paperclip. If you go back into uh, the secrets during World War One and World War Two, when they were building the von der Weppen, the Bell um, device, these were all like time travel devices. If you get into Project Pegasus, Project Looking Glass, if you look at the secret programs of the Philadelphia experiment or the Montauk project, if you get into modern ufology and the secret UFO crash recovery programs and all of the major players of UFO research, these people have all had these experiences that transcend the awareness of linear time and this perception where they suddenly have interactions from entities from the future or um, ancient uh, shamanistic spirits of the past and different things like that that are very, we consider them all mystical or magical. But there is this secret race or the secret war going on over linear time and over the technology around the control of linear time. And so as individuals, when you see this, like how do you, how do you actually catch people, organizations, secret groups that have technology to bend and shape the nodes of time. Like even the ancient Hopi legends, uh, Native American legends, they talk about the universe being a great spider web created by the spider woman and that the stars are just different nodes on the spider web um, that transcend linear time. So as you are like this individual who's moving into the future, and you're living your life in the here and now and the past is going out behind you and you're trying to wake up from this hypnosis of linear time and this idea that you're just living your life like this you have to go into your own soul through meditation through soul searching and through expanding your conscious awareness to be able to see the bigger picture and to realize your eternal perspective and this timeless perspective. Otherwise, you are just like a fish swimming in the water and these other people that have an organizations that have the technology, they have the mystical wisdom and the understanding, and they have these abilities to shape and control the timelines are always going to, to uh, herd you like a school of fish and they're gonna guide you where you're supposed to go and you're gonna lose your individual agency, lose the course of your life and all of that. So the only way, like how do you catch something? How do you even film a UFO on camera or even catch the proof of anything or make any difference in humanity at all if you are still just like a fish swimming in the river and you're dealing with these entities, whether they're organizations or people with technology or higher dimensional beings, that are standing on the shore and they're watching the river of time and they're just casting their net into that and controlling the direction of the matrix. The only way to transcend or ascend out of that is you have to expand your awareness of your own soul and who you are to see the bigger picture, to not get caught in that web and to not be controlled by it. And there are dark forces that don't want this information to get out 
That's what's really going on. That's why they actually killed that professor from MIT because he was tapping into the secrets of timeline control and the manipulation of the future and the past and reality itself. So we have to wake up to this. We have to become more self-aware. We have to expand our consciousness as a humanity and start saying, no, we are the masters of our own reality and the, our, the direction of our own lives. And we are not going to get caught in your web and your web of lies. And we're not gonna swim through the current of time in the way that you want us to. We know ourselves and we see ourselves and we have a different plan.